Hello and thanks for using TickBoom. This question that I'm tackling today is question 24 of the New South Wales HSC Standard Math Exam. And I came across it when I was uh, reading a newspaper article um, just yesterday uh, with the tagline, one of the hardest exams I've come across, new math common content splits HSC students. And that piqued my interest because um, uh, the exam uh, this HSC math exam that was sat by all students yesterday, um, for the first time, uh, those students sitting advanced and those students sitting standard um, had common questions. And I think the idea was to help um, with the scaling because you'd be able to see how the advanced students versus the standard students went on those common questions. Um, so the article was mainly focused on interviewing those standard students who found these questions quite hard. And uh, I thought, well, why not take a look myself and see um, what these questions were like? And the article actually um, provided a link to um, five of these common questions. Um, so uh, what we're looking at now is the first of those five, and I thought I might walk through each of the five um, all in separate videos. So for this first video, I'll focus on just this first question 24, um, which reads, there are two tanks on a property, tank A and tank B. Initially, tank A holds a thousand litres of water and tank B is empty. So um, part A of this question says, tank A begins to lose water at a constant rate of 20 litres per minute. The volume of water in tank A is modelled by V is equal to a thousand minus 20 T and V is the volume in litres and T is the time in minutes from when the tank begins to lose water. And then it asks that on the grid below, um, it wants us to draw the graph of this model and label it as tank A. So that's part A. Um, over the page we have part B, which says tank B remains empty until T is equal to 15, and then water is added to it at a constant rate of 30 litres per minute. Uh, by drawing a line on the grid on the previous page or otherwise, find the value of t when the two tanks contain the same volume of water. So that's part b and then finally part c says using the graphs drawn or otherwise find the value of t where t is going to be greater than zero when the total volume of water in the two tanks is 1000 litres. So there it is a three-part question. So um, for the first part, part a, I've drawn up an axis in advance um, it's going to be slightly different in terms of its precision than the grid that was provided, but it, it should still suffice for, for the purposes of answering the question. So part A needs us to draw a line representing V. So we're told that um, for tank A, uh, the volume is equal to a thousand minus 20 T. So V is the volume in litres, T is the time in minutes. Um, we can see that T is just to the power of 1 here, so we know we're going to be drawing a straight line. So ultimately, if we can just get two points and connect them, we'll have our curve. Um, the two most obvious points to, to think about would be the intercepts. So when T is equal to 0 and when V is equal to 0, and then that'll give us two points that we can join. So if I start with when t is equal to zero, the volume would equal a thousand minus 20 times zero, which is a thousand minus zero, which is just a thousand. So that's easy enough to plot. And then when v is equal to zero, t would be equal to 1000 divided by 20 which would be 100 on 2, which is equal to 50. So that's this point here. So if now I connect these two points, and if I label it tank A, that's um, part A of the question done. So for part B, we're then introduced to tank B, which um, starts off having... Um, uh, when we're told when t is equal to 15, v is equal to 0, and then it grows at um, 30, 30 litres for every minute. So really what we're dealing with is um, 
the volume, I might call this volume B, so I'll call all of these volume A to distinguish them. Volume B will be equal to 30 times the number of litres, uh, sorry, 30 multiplied by the number of minutes that have passed after we've passed um, t is equal to 15. So what that really is is t minus 15 is the um, function to give us the volume of B. So if I, I just plot that, um, we know at t is equal to 15, the volume is 0. If I then pick one other point, let's say t is equal to 50, um, in my calculator we'd get 50 minus 15 times 30 is 1050 would be the volume. So 1050, it's about there. So if I just uh, join those two dots, and if I label that tank B, by visual inspection we can see that these two lines intersect just below t is equal to 30. So I'd guess about t39 and I'm sure if you were to draw this up on the grid, the very detailed grid paper in the question, you'd be able to use the graph and um, confidently enough know what that number is. Um, but given we can't hear, what I might do is do the or otherwise um, approach, which is in this case algebra because we can just let VA equal to VB and solve for what T is. So VA is 1000 minus 20T, VB is 30T minus 15, which equals 30T minus 30 times 15, which is 450. So now if we solve for T, we'd bring the 20 over, so we'd get 50T, we bring the 450 over here, so we'd get 1450. And so really T would equal 1450 on 50. 1450 divided by 50 is 29, which is consistent with what we see visually. So um, that's how you tackle part B. Um, now for part C, the final part, we're asked to either visually or otherwise work out when the total volume in A plus the total volume in B is equal to 1000. And they specifically say that T has to be greater than zero because we know at exactly zero we'd have a thousand plus zero. So we want it to be after T is equal to zero. Now again we can just use algebra here. You could probably inspect your chart and try and you know find the relevant time where that's going to work. But I think algebra is equally as um, simple um, because really what we're saying is we want um, 1000 minus 20t plus um, 30t minus 450, which is our volume B. We want that to equal 1000. So what is that? That's um, 1000 minus 450, which would be um, 550. Oops, 550. Uh, we want 30t minus 20t, which is 10t, equal to 1000. So 10t would equal to be 1000 minus 550, which is 450. So we get t is equal to 450 on 10, which is 45 uh, minutes. I should probably write minutes up here too. Um, so 45 minutes, let's have a look. So that's going to be at this point here, 45. So what do we get? We get it's 900 plus 100. So yeah, the visuals on the chart seem to confirm that 45 is the correct answer. And in theory, you could also enter 45 into each of these and see that you, do you get um, the 900 plus the 100, which um, would also be a, a good check to do if you were sitting in the exam. 
So, um, yeah, that, that's it for that question. Uh, you know, interesting enough, uh, utilizing a few skills of, of charting a straight line um, and using a bit of algebra if you want to, although you probably could have actually tackled this whole question just by using the charts um, in the detailed grid paper provided in the question. So uh, hopefully that was uh, easy enough to follow along. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned at the beginning, I'll now work through the other common questions in separate videos and see what they look like. So uh, tick boom.